Welcome to the Adventures of the Art Goblin. Today I thought I would take a look at the Cintiq 22 HD. I've been working with it for about a year and a half to two years now. So I think it's time for me to review it now that I've really gotten familiar with it. There's a lot of ups and downs with the 22 HD. Um, most of them are ups. I love this thing. It's, it's made my illustration career possible. Um, the touch sensitivity is really is terrific on them. Um, I like the size because it lets you draw from the from the shoulder, not um, you know with your fingertips like you do on the smaller one. So the size is comfortable. I could have gotten the touch and I opted not to because I spend so much time with my hands resting on here. And I know you can turn the touch off on the 22 and 24. Um, HD touch, but if I'm turning it off, then why am I paying extra for it? So, um, and I've been pretty satisfied with not having it. Um, you know, it's it's pretty easy to figure out how to how to zoom and manipulate your board without um, without it. Now, it also comes with a stand that lets me go at all sorts of angles. This is kind of nice. Um, it's I, I've discovered that it's been difficult to find. Uh, so working surface is the appropriate height. I would actually like this to be a little bit lower. My arms get tired over a long time holding them up. Um, but with my configuration here, it's a little hard to get a lower. There is a, you could purchase a, an arm where you can pull it down. And I think that might be uh, the next upgrade that I look at eventually. So um, this program here um, comes with the bundle for the Cintiq, um, or the trial version of it does anyway. I'm not too sure about the, this. Is, it's, this is Autodesk Sketchbook Pro. It's great for pencils. It does pencils like Photoshop wishes it could do pencils. Uh, nice mirror functions. does all sorts of uh, things. Uh, French curves that don't exist in, in Photoshop. So I use it in combination with my Photoshop. Photoshop is the place that I go to for painting. Um, and this is kind of like an industry standard place to be when you want to paint. So that's that's that. Some of the problems that I have with the 22 HD is the old Intuos 4. Um, in, they had the company had Wacom had this beautiful interface on the side where there would be LEDs for. Um, Every time you open a new software, whatever you had the buttons assigned to, the LEDs would display that, and you could always see what your buttons were, and you can kind of see what the problem is here. I've got masking tape over here, and I have the undo and the move and the and uh, the deselect. My buttons that I like have to be ducked with tape, which is the, like, the dumbest thing. They had the most beautiful interface on the Intuos 4, and they dropped it. And even the 13 HD sort of goes with this where it's all a mystery. Um, however, there is one bonus on the 22s and 24s. Um, they maintain the sl slider. On the, it's on the back for resizing your brushes. Um, they did away with it on the 13 HD, which makes no sense to me at all because that is one of the most effective tools. On the 13, you have to push, 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 push to re resize. Uh, so it makes it real clunky. So it's got some shortcomings for sure, um, but it's an industry standard and you can't live without it. I mean, I, this is this is a, an invaluable tool for what I do. Um, and the uh, pressure sensitivity is wonderful. One of the things that I don't like, another thing that I don't like about these, it, and this is the art pen, especially the art pen, you can see how fat that sucker is. It's a little bit like it, they expect you to be in kindergarten and working with crayons, sort of, and that's not what I, I like to have control of like a pen. So I ended up pulling off the uh, rubber, whatever that is. I don't know, it feels kind of rubbery. It might be a latex combination. I pulled it off, my fingers were actually breaking out from the latex a little bit. Um, so I ended up with a narrower stylus, um, and I find this much more comfortable. So there's, a, there's an adaptation that you will have to consider. Uh, overall, this is a terrific product. There's going to be links to all of these products below. If you want to purchase anything like this through Amazon, 
check it out and come if you purchase through my links it would definitely help me out um, in short um, this is definitely the professional product you need if you want to be concept design artist illustrator or whatever um, I haven't regretted this purchase um, even though it was sort of purchased for me but it, it took me a lot of work to get to get somebody to purchase for me from lesser known um, well worth well worth every penny um, from the 13 HD up to the 22 it's definitely worth the extra 800 or 1000 or whatever it is to get from 13 to here uh, I find the 13 is quite clunky um, the size is small yes it's portable I can take it on a plane with me but it's got an octopus of cables that come out of it so if you're looking for something portable maybe look at some of the other options um, Wacom has some truly portable options that don't require you to be connected to a computer and everything um, but again you get what you pay for and so the 24 22 HD 24 HD really is a terrific working size the surface is reasonably grippy um, and smooth I don't go through tips that fast the hard plastic tips last for quite a while the felt tips which give you a more natural paper feel do wear out a little quicker but they're still um, they still stand up pretty well uh, one of the other things that I do like about this stand is it allows me I, I tend not to rotate my image like I would a piece of paper. I tend to actually rotate my screen. So this is kind of nice that it allows you to do this on the stand. And this allows, gives me all sorts of extra freedom. And I find this uh, something that I use quite a bit when I'm working, especially when I, when I do pencils and things like that. And if you can afford to do 22 versus 13, you'll find yourself in a lot less frustration. And if you can, if you need to be portable, I would say go with one of the portable options instead of the 13. Um, even though the, uh, the interface is the same, they did away with the slide ring and the slide resizing. And I have no idea why. I've sent Wacom a couple of letters um, telling them it's my biggest complaint. And I even sent them pictures of my <laughs> my um, masking tape next to the buttons as part of the problem and yeah you can push the middle and maybe come up with your come up with your um, menu here but it's not the same as having it always displayed there it's just it's a really a design flaw but there's nothing better there's nothing better on the market that I have found for myself and um, I've learned to adapt and hopefully maybe the next version will we'll see some improvements with this interface. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.